Only Fools and Horses star Ron Pember died aged 87 on Tuesday, with his devastated grandson confirming the tragic news to the public. Over the years, we have lost a long list of legendary actors from the show. From Leonard Pierce to Buster Merrifield, these stars left a positive effect on the general public thanks to their roles. The sitcom was created and written by John Sullivan and seven series originally aired on BBC One between 1981 and 1991. Another 16 Christmas specials were also broadcasted until 2003. The beloved show starred the beloved David Jason, Nicholas Lindhurst, Leonard, Buster, Tessapeak Jones, Gwyneth Strong and many more. Since the airing of the first episode of the show, a number of stars have sadly passed away. Ron Bemberit was confirmed that Ron Bember died on Tuesday and his grandson, Paul, shared the news online. Paying tribute to his 87-year-old grandfather, Paul Bend, the sadness now is the happiness then. That's the deal. November 4, 1934 to 08. 03.2022 Hashtag Ron Bember Hashtag Granddad. Following Paul's heartfelt post where he confirmed his grandfather's death, the official social media account for Only Fools and Horses reposted his tribute and celebrated Ron's life and incredible acting skills. The Only Fools and Horses account reposted the message, writing, We are saddened to hear of the news of the death of Ron Pember who played Baz in the Series 3 episode, Homesick. Our thoughts and warm wishes go to his family and friends. Ron appeared in Only Fools and Horses in 1983 and took on the role of Baz, the chair of the Tenants Association. Leonard Pierce Leonard Pierce was one of the original cast members of the hit show, starring as Grandad, Edward Kitchener Grandad Trotter, from the very beginning. Grandad was rarely seen out of his armchair in front of his TV sets but he was treated as a butler by Del Boy and Rodney. Unfortunately, the actor unexpectedly died halfway through filming the fourth series in 1988. He had a heart attack and died aged 69, leaving the entire cast and crew devastated. A few years before his death, Leonard was diagnosed with critical hypertension and had a few other health issues. Leonard began his acting career in the 30s where he had a fruitful career on stage. Buster Merrifield following the tragic death of Leonard. Buster Merrifield joined the show as another member of the Trotter family. He took on the role of Royal Navy veteran Uncle Albert. Although he didn't have much acting experience, actor Buster Merrifield was chosen for the part due to his distinctive white beard. Buster had been an amateur dramatics actor and didn't make it his main profession until he was 57. His character spent a lot of time reminiscing about his wartime experiences. Buster died in 1999 at the age of 78 as a result of a brain tumor. Uncle Albert's death was then written into the next episode as a tribute. John Shelley John Shelley was best known for his role as Boise in the BBC comedy. John was in his late 30s when he landed the role of Boise, with the part initially meant just for one scene before his character became more prominent in the series. In September 2021, the actor tragically died at the age of 79 following a difficult battle with cancer. The news was confirmed in a statement from his family, with them saying he died peacefully in his sleep. It is with heavy hearts that we bring you such sad news, the family statement said. Our dear friend and yours, John Shalley, has died peacefully in his sleep, 
after a long battle with cancer. He will always be loved for being Boise and leaves a great legacy of work that will continue to bring pleasure and smiles for many years to come. Roger Lloyd Pack Roger Lloyd Pack took on the role of Colin Triggerball for the entire duration of the long-running show. Others may also recognize him as Barry Crouch SR in Harry Potter. In 2014, the actor passed away at the age of 69 following a battle with pancreatic cancer. He passed away at his home in Kentish Town with his wife and family by his side. Roger appeared in all 39 episodes of Only Fools and Horses, which was voted Britain's best sitcom in 2004. He also starred in every episode of The Vicar of Diddley as Owen Newitt, which came third in the same BBC poll. Co-star John Shally once revealed Roger hated being called Trigger in public. He was always trying to live down the Trigger thing because people tended to think he was a bit dim. But, of course, he was exactly the opposite, John said. Roy Heather Roy Heather had a small role in the show as cafe owner Sid, but he was still a fan favorite. Other than Only Fools and Horses, he had parts in the likes of Poirot and My Family. He also had small roles in Edge of Darkness, The Legacy of Reginald Barron, Birds of a Feather and The Green Green Grass. He tragically died in 2014 at the age of 79 from an unknown illness. Kenneth MacDonald Kenneth MacDonald was the long-suffering and dim-witted landlord, named Mike Fisher, of the Nags Head in the show. The star unexpectedly died in 2001 when he was 50 years old. He was on holiday with his family in Hawaii when he suffered from a heart attack. On hearing of Kenneth's death, Only Fools and Horses star David Jason said, It is a terrible shock. It is like losing a member of the family because he was one of the warmest, kindest people that I have had the good fortune to meet in my career. John Sullivan John Sullivan was the writer for Only Fools and Horses. He also wrote Citizen Smith and Just Good Friends, and Rock and Chips. He died in 2011 at the age of 64 from viral pneumonia. John Sullivan, who was born in Balham, South London, in 1946, previously revealed his secret was that he wrote about things that he knew. He once described the character Rodney from Only Fools as a teeny bit me because he was also a bit of a naive dreamer as a teenager. And he said Del Boy was a combination of many characters he came across while working in the second-hand car trade in the 1970s. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29